Hey guys, you Kirby with here with the final final episode of Spyro 3 and of the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. In the last episode, we burnt Moneybag's butt because he gave because he had an egg. We also entered the super bonus world where we where we went to Don't leave my words again. <laughs> Come on. But, uh, where we went where we went into a submarine challenge. And shot down more Rhinox subs that couldn't fight back. And we also did one of the worst challenges in this game. This time, we're going to enter the final door. What's behind here? Oh no. I don't know how she did it, Spyro, but the sorceress must have survived that last battle. She's been waiting here all this time, saving up her magic to destroy you. Your best chance at defeating her is my flying saucer. I've cast some spells to give it extra firepower and unlimited flying time. But the rest is up to you. You've come this far, Spyro. I know you can beat her. You couldn't have given us Super Spyro again? Yeah, this is a really disappointing thing. We have to use the saucer to blast her again. This is real. This is not as annoying as what it was. Her shots do harm this time, though. But sadly... Honestly, I wanted Super Spyro. This is a great, this is honestly just a disappointing thing. It's like, I don't know why they decided to do this and not Super Spyro. It's like, it's just really weird. This honestly would be much better with Super Spyro. But no, oh gee, let's have you ride another thing again. Thank like you, Bianca, you couldn't have given us could have used the magic of the dragon eggs to basically have given us Super Spyro again. But yep, this is it. This is... Where the hell? There she is. This is it. They don't even... If you also, if you listen carefully to the music, it's... They don't even give her their own sound music. It's literally the music that they play during... during the bonus round. Anyway. There! Sorceress is now dead. We also rewarded with the 50th egg, which is... Twins! The only special one. You're also treated with the 100% cutscene. This is completely not voice acting, by the way. So I can talk here. I don't know that he's just taking his nose. trilogy yeah they reuse this this again for 100% they, they, they don't even give us the special cool um one yeah wait why are you why did you add this thing there is there are some more things I want to talk about like I want to show off the art gallery which I didn't want to do because it would have it had spoils for the three games uh, I also have have two other things to also discuss too. Sorry about that. I was just basically um, moving myself in the chair because, yeah. Anyway, the game kicks you back out to to Midnight Mountain. No extra things. Yeah, the end game for this is pretty lackluster. Us. Anyway, go to quit game. We're going to be going to my already my other 100% file because this has all the skill points done. So now we're going to be looking through all 63 pages of the art book. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just wanted to show this off. This is a this is the a, the new art version of the original cover of Spyro the Dragon of 
Universal Spyro. They also have character models, Sword and Sparks, the Dragon Statues, which I honestly like in the new version. They look a lot nicer. Norks, Dreamweaver Fools, Giant Pansy Armored Horror and the Demon Dogs from uh, Dreamweaver's World, Toasty, Dr. Shepard Blowhard, Metalhead, Jox and Nasty Nork. We also have drag we also, we also have dragons. In, uh, I apologize. I'm, I'm flashing through all this so fast. I'm sorry. We also have a new version of the Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage cover. For, in this version, the grass is new. And Spyro was basically just standing on nothing for that. We also have have its concept art. I honestly like this. I still wish that we got the epilogues for two and three. That's kind of the more disappointing thing. I, if I had to choose between the art gallery and the epilogues, I'd rather we got the epilogues. They just took those game modes out in this game. That's really just sad. The reason why I'm holding off is basically bosses. This is the original version, uh, about newer ver original version for Year of the Dragons cover. I honestly like how they remade the um, the stuff. But it is, it's, it's honestly a really cool idea. Yeah. For some reason, they in the con art gallery they they added a um, jersey onto the moose, but never did anything with it. It's really weird. And that is all. Of it. We're going to return to the original game for this next little bit because there's another something I want to talk about too. Yeah. One that basically is still to this day not been basically affected. If you recall back in the original version, we have this door artisan. From the time of this recording, which is, I'm apologize for dating myself, the end of August, we still do not know what is behind this door. It has been a year. Well, almost a year. I if they're if they're waste if they're basically doing that so like because like they have something big planned. And wait, and they're waiting for the Switch and PC ports to come out. That's fine. I just wish they would have said something like that. We have no idea what's behind this door, and it so bugs me. So, Spider One might get another episode in the future. Who knows when that will occur? But there is something that actually does show, uh, give us a little insight to what they might believe believe what's inside the door I will so I will see you guys in a quick minute to show off another game Activision presents a smashing blast from the past alrighty guys Fasten welcome back to Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel why are we here well let us watch the intro and we will s and I will show you guys in a very quick minute. The most the September Grand Prix for this game is Spyro related. New characters were added for this. This. Those characters including uh hold on. Yeah, no, no. There's also a Spyro circuit added. We're gonna to go to a time trial and we're gonna actually show it off. The game also added Spyro, Hunter, 
and a nasty Nork as playable characters. But sadly, in I don't have them available. Cool. We also have spiral related carts. We have the Nasty Ride, the Dragonfly, and the Spiromobile. And there are alternative colors. We're gonna stay with Coco because I honestly like doing it. I actually like like her. We're just we're just gonna be going through the time through one lap of it just to show us off, so this is gonna be really slow. Now, they are also planning to do Ripto's Rage and Year of the Dragon uh, Grand Prix as well. So this will so this one's probably gonna be coming back a lot later. So this one might be so I might be doing an updated version of this bonus later on. So if I do, then then I apologize. Well, I so I apologize for how short this is. This is, but like I said, we're going. I'm going to be adding to the um the stuff. This. Anyway, as you can see, we start out in Artisan. We also enter where that door leads. leads and we are in a strange little library. We also bypass some of the dragon statues, stone statues that is. We all, and we also uncover portals. Hop through this first one and we are in high caves. Our obstacles are the ice wizards and the wind wizards fighting each other. There. As you can see both their projectiles. Enter the second portal and we wind up in Wizard Peak. As you see we also have the little electric wizard. I'm disappointed in the fact that we have Wizard Peak as the second area. I need to use the boost so I would be fast. I don't know, it's just I wish that we I wish that this part was nasty. Wait. Enter through the portal to wind up back in Artisans. And here we here we basically drive past through a lot of artisans. Artisan homeworld. See, there's the dragon head that that house Toasty. There's a, there's also a electric wizard for some reason. There's the hedge garden that housed the um, the um, uh, the house Tall Peak. And over there is the waterfall that holds Sunny Sunny Flight. And the starting point is where is the starting point in Spyro One. I honestly like the attention to detail they did for this. Wrong way. Where's so let's just let's just so that took a minute. Let's actually do the track itself. Mind you, I'm not good at this game. I need to get better. I know there's some people going to go fuck Activision. I'm sorry, screw Activision for base out and transactions. I'm with them. I don't like the fact that they basically advertise this game as not having microtransactions and then a month after the game came out, we're out of microtransactions! Because that I think is incredibly illegal. Activision honestly is one of the top three worst game companies in the entire world. The other two are EA Games and Epic. They are just awful and should be gone. Look at how much time I actually did with actually racing. Also, an interesting note I do want to say is that they actually also do replace the Aku Aku Uka Uka masks with Sparks when playing the Spyro character. And for this track, there is a and when you're in a race, you also will be having gems to acquire as Wolfenfree. If you never play CTR, they work similar to coins in Mario Kart. That, yeah, so the more you have, the faster you'll go. You also have power-ups that basically will be stronger. There are also TNT crates that actually are scattered around, too. 
Not the same sense as what's in Crash. So basically, they just put down a uh, chain secret down the thing. So yeah, that is yeah. So that is like I said the uh well phantasm for Spyro Three for right now. Like I said before, when they add um when they add the two and three races, this video will be going down and it will be placed with a with a version adding those with me running a lap the uh, time trial race around those. Possibly then I should have I'll have the other spiral characters so we'll actually race as that. So I will see you guys next time for the next uh, uh, for the next LP, which is going to be a real awakening for everyone. Take care, everyone.